हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन ए सहज शिक्षण यूट्यूब चैनल सो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड सब्जेक्ट इज अ हिस्टरी एंड सिविक्स इन दैट फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज सोर्सेस ऑफ अ हिस्ट्री सो वी आर टेकिंग अ कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर ओके इफ यू आर न्यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड लाइक द वीडियो so we are going to start the first question complete the names of the following sources of a history here is a first the answer of this is a legend then next t and here dash 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 h so answer is a tarikh then third one is a first one is a b then later dash 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 and r so the answer is a bakhar next fourth one first letter is a p then dash 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 and last one is a a so the answer is a powada again fifth one first letter is a i then fourth time dash then again i Two time dash again I one time dash and last letter is a N, so the answer is a inscriptions. And then sixth one is a first letter is a M, two time dash U again three time dash and T. So now here is the mon monuments or monument. second question let's write first one what do monuments include see the answer monuments include samadhis graves and virgalas and buildings second question What is a tarikh? Answer: Tarikh or tawarikh means the sequence of events. Third question: What qualities of the author are important in the writing of a history? So this question is a kind of a important. for one marks okay the answer the author's integrity impartiality and neutrality are very important in writing history question 3 find the odd man out material sources written sources unwritten sources and oral sources so in that odd man is a answer unwritten sources next monuments coins cave sculptures and stories so the answer odd one is a stories next टेम्पल्स ट्रिटिसाइज पेटिंग्स एंड द आंसर इज अ टेम्पल्स नेक्स्ट वन इज अ ओवीज तारीख्स फोक टेल्स एंड मिथाइज सो इन दैट ऑड वन इज अ तारीख्स so student next question is fourth question explain the following concepts so let's start in that question first material sources so this kind of question asked in exam for two marks answer those authentic materials evidences or proofs of the asian period which supports our study of 
historical events are called material sources of a history so this is the definition first we write the definition what is a material sources and the example is a memorials buildings cave sculptures inscriptions coins copper plates forts etc second question written sources answer those authentic evidences or proof of the ancient period which are in a written form are called written sources of the history again first we write the definition here is the definition of what a written sources next is the example documents of a proceedings in courts of kings genealogies shakavali correspondence dispatches treatises biographies travelogies chronicles and tawariks etc these are the example of written sources next third question is a oral sources again this ask for two marks answer we understand various aspects of folk life through folk literature traditionally passed from generation to generation and they are known as the oral sources of the history example mythas folk songs gatha shlokas abhangas povadas proverbs and legends etc okay so this question is complete next question is a fifth is it a necessary to evaluate sources of a history give your opinion answer first yes it is a necessary to evaluate the sources of history then second point just because a source is old does not mean it is a reliable or true we should examine their authenticity and see which sources are genuine and which are a fake so it is a important next third one we must evaluate its quality with the help of different methods and through critical analysis next fourth point it is a necessary to determine the integrity impartiality and neutrality of the authors by knowing their person interested the period during which they live and political pressures on them so this four point gives the answer of this question next is the sixth question write why in your words so we have to write why this first question a stone is a inscriptions is a considered to be an authentic source of a history so why we are write we have to write why this and the answer is here a stone inscriptions that is a carving on the stone is a very authentic source of a history as it throws light on a different features of the ancient time like the language of communication which excited script used on the social political and economic life of a period etc then second question oral sources reveal various aspects of people's lives and the answer first one various aspects of folk life through folk literature passed on to us by our ancestors then second point they are pearls of wisdom 
and they hold a wealth of a knowledge about the past then third point it throws light on the rich cultural life of the past and different art forms which were practiced in those times so student here is the end of this exercise if you like this video please press the like button subscribe to channel share it this video to your friend thank you bye bye